introduce you to the Pentel pocket brush. I've got a couple of these here. Um, the beauty of a brush is that you can achieve nice smooth lines, you can achieve thicks and thins, and I'm just going into my pile of tools here. Uh, you have a couple of options. Okay, on the left is a Winsor & Newton uh, sable brush. It's actually made out of the tails of the Kolinsky sable, which is a small weasel that lives in Russia. Siberia, exactly. Now, this is probably the finest type of brush you can get for uh, any type of line work. Most uh, comic book artists still use this. The problem with it is it's very expensive. This is a number two brush, and it is uh, probably costs about nowadays thirty to forty dollars. A number three, which is e even more popular with some comic book artists, is is probably sixty or seventy dollars. Now, as an alternative, especially for students and myself, I've been using the uh, Pentel pocket brush. This thing is a very versatile tool. It's a cartridge, which unscrews. You can refill it very easily with these cartridges here. Uh, or, what I've been doing in the past is I've been actually refilling it with FW India ink. And it actually works. I did this in a panic one night when I'd run out of cartridges, and it works. And I find that the FW ink is even more permanent and darker so you can do that so let's play around with this brush a bit whoa maybe I should figure it out, out how it actually works what happened to my cartridges there we go put the barrel back on now the thing about a brush is that by applying pressure you can get a thicker line by lightening up on it, you can achieve a lighter line. You can really apply pressure. It produces a very nice, strong black. You get beautiful flowing lines. You may notice that I'm moving my entire arm rather than just, I mean, you can get away with this as well for certain uses, but uh, to achieve a nice flowing line, you'll find that moving the arm from the elbow and even the shoulder in some cases produces smoothness and and uh, consistency. Thicker line is going to be achieved by applying more pressure. Now you notice here uh, I'm achieving what's known as a dry brush effect which means that my brush is kind of running out of ink. That is dependent on the speed at which you're moving as well. Now if you look at this character here uh, this was something I inked just recently, and you can see the variety of line work in there. One thing you might notice is that the outside lines, generally speaking, are I've made them a little bit thicker than the inside lines. Now, this takes a bit of practice, right? There's a, a, a learning curve that goes with it. Uh, but with enough practice, you can achieve some very nice effects. This is, the paper that I'm using here is just a, a bond paper that uh, comes out of a marker pad, but it's, it's good quality paper. This, this is just photocopied paper, um, and it's the, the grid that we, we've been fooling around with, but you can see, you can achieve some very nice line work on there. And it might be time to either put another cartridge in this, or fill it with India ink, FW. I'll be talking more about this brush uh, at a later date, but in the meantime, get one, experiment with it, play with it, and you'll see that it's a very enjoyable tool to use. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Buy a brush pen and save a weasel. Thank you.